Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I did a poll on my Instagram and you guys said you wanted a makeup tutorial today. So I did this kind of graphic liner with gold eyeshadow in it as well. For this look, I did use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette. So if you would like to see how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Happy New Year! Yay! Woo! <laughs> I don't have a horn, but <laughs> so first I'm going to prime with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Just I always do three pumps on my fingers and then uh, just apply it mainly to my T zone. And then whatever's left over, I'll put on my cheeks. Okay, and for foundation, I'm going to be using the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade Cafe. And I'm going to apply, do about three pumps on this as well. And it's always so cold every time I put this foundation on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. Okay, and then before I set that, I want to actually cream contour today. And I'm actually using a warmer shade than a contour shade, so I guess cream bronzing. <laughs> I'm using the Match Stick from Fenty Beauty in the shade Coco. And it is a matte contour stick. It's called the Matte Skin Stick, meaning it doesn't have any shimmer or anything. It just gives you a really nice bronze or contour depending on what kind of shade you get. But my shade, I, the shade that I got is really warm because that's how I prefer to have cream contour is for it to be more of a cream bronzing but they definitely have shades that you can use for actual contour that has more of a neutral undertone and then i'm just going to blend that out with my thrive cosmetics contour brush and i've th i don't think i've ever explained thrive cosmetics to you guys so thrive cosmetics for every product that you purchase goes to a woman in need and so every one of their products, and I don't think the brushes, no, um, actually this is a bronzer brush, but every one of their products, like their blushes or their eyebrow pencils or everything is named after a woman. So it's really about woman empowerment and helping women in need. So that's why it's called cosmetics instead of cosmetics. And they're featured in a lot of magazines as well. I think Allure has featured them before, and you guys know I love Allure. And I noticed that this brush really blends out that matchstick really well. It's like an airbrush finish. Okay, and then to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the MAC Patrick Star Patrick's Powder. So this powder is nice. I don't think that it emphasizes my wrinkles so much more. My under eye creases, I guess I should say. And I think it keeps me matte for a pretty decent amount of time. And it doesn't change the look of the concealer that I put underneath it. Like I still feel like I have that yellowish tone from that concealer underneath my eyes, even though I've set it. And this powder has a bit of a pinky tone to it, but it seems like it's picking up more translucent once I get it on my face, which is really nice. All right, and now I'm just going to set that cream contour that I, or cream bronzing <laughs> that I put on my face with the NYX Dark Tan Matte Bronzer. I think this shade is very identical to the shade that I used from Fenty Beauty. So it just amps up the cream contour that I applied. This eyebrow is shaped nice, but I need to fix this one up a little bit, I think. So let me just get a few of these hairs out. So after I finish this, I'm going to get my, I bought a light fixture. I feel like a grown person. So I bought a light fixture and I'm going to pick it up because they didn't have anybody to take it down. So I'm super excited. Okay, for highlight, which it almost kind of looks like I already have highlight on, but I didn't put any on. You know, it has like that nice sheen. So I'm, I think I'm gonna hold off on highlight for now. I'm just gonna move on to my brows. I'm going to fill them in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Dark Brown Brow Powder and I'm just gonna use it to fill in the ends and maybe a little bit in the front. Using a Zoeva Brow Line Brush. 
I'm just gonna do it on the end. I'm not gonna put any on the front. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the same concealer that I like to use to clean up my brows when I do that step. So I'm actually going to go ahead and clean them up. So I'm gonna put two dots close to my eyebrow that I can spread around and then apply a bit more down lower that I can blend out for my primer. And then with a little bit more of that Patrick's powder, I'm going to set that concealer so my eyeshadows can blend on top of it. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, just this palette, I believe. I'm gonna start off with the shade So Bougie which I really think this shade is way too light to even show up on me. But I'm gonna try it. That's the reason why I said hopefully just this palette because I may need to use a shadow for my transition if this doesn't work. Yeah, it's showing up a little bit. I think I'll be able to just work with this. So I'm applying it just in my upper crease area, kind of bringing it close to my brow bone right here. The top of my brow or the front of my brow. And then I'm going to go in with Coco Truffle. And I'm going to just focus this in the crease. Now with the shade Decadent, I'm going to apply this really as a cat eye. So I'm gonna go straight out using a pencil brush and then into the crease. So I'm bringing the eyeshadow all the way to the inner corner as well. And now I'm just taking a bit of that darker shade and blending it. Just so making sure that it's a little bit seamless, not too seamless, because we do still want to keep the cat eye. So what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit more intense is I'm going to apply a bit of a liquid pen liner just on the edge to make it a little bit more black and dark right here at the V. So then I'm gonna just go back in with that black shadow, kind of blend it just a little bit. So you kind of want to keep building until it's not obvious that you have a line right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I can still kind of see the line on mine. And then I'm just going to go in with the Blendy brush and the Coco Truffle shade and blend that black just a little bit on the top and down here. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this eye and then we'll be right back to do the gold on the empty spot. Okay, so now that I've gotten it as even as I'm gonna get it, I'm going to add a bit of gold eyeshadow in the center part. You can definitely leave it just like this. You don't have to add anything else, but I do want that goldness to my eyes. So I'm going to take the shade Chocolate Gold from the palette using a Sigma E57 brush. I just went over the black, but I can go back in with a liner. So for lashes, I'm going to apply the Ardell 600 lashes and they look like House of Lashes Bambi lashes, but they're closer together. The clusters are closer together than those. So I'm going to, while the glue is getting tacky, I'm going to apply the MAC in Extreme Dimension to my bottom lashes. And then for lip color, while those lashes dry down, I'm going to apply MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. And for the center, for the actual lip color, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Dubai. So I'm gonna stick with what I said. I'm not gonna add any highlight or blush. I'm gonna just go with the bronzed face, but I am going to spray my face to get rid of the powdery look that I have on my face. And I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. And that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.